Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Keith at 3 Day RV. This week's video, we're going to be checking out a MIMO Quad Pro 4 antenna from Waveform. And we're hoping this is going to boost our T-Mobile home internet. So stick around a little bit. We'll show you what works, what doesn't work, and our results at the end. Thanks for tuning in. Click that like and subscribe. Thank you. So hey, this week's project is going to be a pretty simple one where we're hooking up a uh, external antenna to a 5G home router to see what it does for our signal quality, if it picks up our bandwidth speed, and so on. The router that we use in our house here is the T-Mobile Home Solution. It's the brand new 5G router. Let me show you what it looks like. So this is that, that router, and don't know how well that's showing up. But pretty much anywhere I put this in the house, we don't have a great signal. I can put it in the windows. It, it shows up as weak. Two bars. Uh, put it in the slider. Call tech support. I can put it all these different places. It's a brick house. We got a few trees around. And uh, it just never gets fantastic signal quality. So uh, connected with the people at Waveform, and they got a really cool antenna that we're going to mount on on the soffits. And um, we're going to see how this works. And we're going to see how this, this connects. This is the Mimo Quad 4 Pro. And it's uh, pretty excited about it. This is supposed to be a, a, a really high quality, best in class antenna. So uh, that's what this video that's what this video is going to be about. We're going to hook this up outside and we're going to test before and after and see what kind of uh, signal quality we pick up. And I'm going to show you a few things I learned and didn't learn hooking this up. Hopefully uh, it'll be obvious about uh, the signal quality. So let's unpack it and let's see how this uh, thing goes together. We know reading this manual isn't always fun, but we promise it's worth it. We've helped thousands of customers improve signals in their cellular routers. We've compiled everything we've learned in this manual. Give it a read before you start. It'll save you time and help you get the best performance out of your Quad Pro. All right. We will do this. I promise. Okay, so welcome back. Here's what we're doing now. When I put my T-Mobile or it, um, any other router for that matter inside of my house, it, it doesn't get a good signal through the brick. The signal just goes down and the displays tell me that it's very weak. So I brought it out here and I got me just a little makeshift stand and I know that there's a cell tower right through that tree about a mile and an eighth away and I also know over Garrett's car there's another tower over there that's at about two two and a half miles straight line but it's through the trees and there's another tower that way about 
four, four and a half miles. And I'm kind of in an area where the signal quality is, we're kind of in a hole. The, the network runs this way. Uh, Interstate I-196 is over there. Interstate I-94 is back there. So there's towers in places. We're sort of in between them. We're in a pyramid of not real great. So when I bring this T-Mobile router out here, and I get a pretty good signal. I don't know if it's actually uh, showing up at all on this thing, but it tells me that it's good. Your connection is good. All right, great. All right, so, but when I put it in the house, it says you're weak and it slows the speeds down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the best possible direction for signal, whether it's coming from this tower or the tower that's to my north or another tower that's a little bit northeast. And we're gonna find out which one of these signals is the greatest. And that's where we're gonna mount our external antenna and point it that direction. And when we get that signal from that antenna, we should see a lot better signal integrity, uh, bandwidth gain on the router. So that's what we're doing. That's what this whole thing is for. So, you know, yeah, I know you like my little jerry rig ladder, but we have to do what we have to do. We have to find out where that signal's good. So we're gonna do a speed test um, in each direction a couple times and see what the results are. So let's see what the old T-Mobile router does. And it's quite difficult to see that, I'm, I apologize. It says your connection is good. Okay, outside it's good, inside it sucks. So let's see what happens. So as I mentioned earlier, if you go over to Nader Tater's channel on YouTube, he's going to point you to a few good tips. And he's been here before, so you might want to listen to him. But um, go over to check out cellmapper.net. You can find the towers nearest you and the type of signals they have and the different bands that they have. Because all of that's important for your particular use. I'm just showing you a couple screenshots, stuff by me, so I can figure out what worked best. And the, and the tower that was closest turns out to be the tower that had the most bands. That could help me and I can tune my router a little bit to change bands possibly. But I wanted to show you this tool. Check it out and use it. You might find it uh, helpful. So as I mentioned earlier, it's important to tune that antenna and it's going to take a little while. So don't think you can throw it up. And don't think you're going to be able to hit that tower dead on the first time. I used a compass. I used the coordinates of where the tower was. I drove by stop, saved those coordinates. And when I got home, I plugged all that in and aimed my router. And it took me about 25 minutes to tune it. But I'm showing the results. Not real great on this screen. I apologize for that. But it definitely was a game changer for us putting this antenna up. As you can see, the before and after, the speeds definitely increased. We went from... At times uh, around 100 or slightly under 100 to consistently, um, with, a, with a loaded speed test, we're consistently pulling 254 and higher. And that's during the business hours when there's people driving by the highway, the interstate, uh, people using those towers. In the evenings, I can get up to 500. So this is a really good antenna for our application. Maybe it doesn't work for you, but I know it's critically important to tune that antenna over and over and over and I think this map kind of paints the picture you can see I was all over the place before and now I can see that uh, we're getting some consistent stuff and that's the whole purpose of the antenna is getting a consistent signal for not only the the upload but the download speed as well so pretty good luck for us okay we went from that's where the cable's coming in. I gotta clean that up. But I just powered it up and switched it over to external antenna. And we went to very good signal again. And then we wanna look and see. That was our last speed test with the doors open. It gets worse with the doors closed. Okay, five ohm will. Make sure we're on the same, and we're not, so we're going to go back to the same test server. MEL net, okay. And we're just going to see what we get. Ooh, 32 for the ping. Yeah, 
and we just started the router I'm sure it's still optimizing yeah look at that upload speed significant gains that's why we put that thing out there on the roof yeah yeah it's kind of hard to argue with the antenna so in case you're wondering these are the silicone watertight boots that keep the water out and the connections good and here's how i mounted mine on the roof right up to the gable i may end up moving it it all depends on how it goes so we're uh 95 percent done on this waveform quad pro 4. Um, this antenna install we did, we weren't real sure what we were going to get. But the minute we opened the box, we could tell that the the, uh, the antenna, the hardware, everything that comes with it was well made. And uh, I was pretty sure with their tech support team, we were going to be able to turn this around and make this work. So short summary, I'm going to have all of the uh, test results below. But I picked up 120 megabytes per second down. So that's a benefit, picked up that much speed. I was running about five upload, five megabytes per second up, which was uh, really kind of slow if you were transferring a file. So uh, that's with the antenna inside of the building. So inside of the building, we couldn't, we couldn't do much with it. So I uh, got the antenna, we got it mounted up there, and now we are smoking fast. We went from having um, Right on the front of the T-Mobile router, we went from having a signal quality that said um, weak, you know, and now it says very good. So, you know, it works for me. It may not work for everybody, but I can tell you for sure this thing is wicked fast right now, and I couldn't be happier. I did have Comcast internet. I was paying 120 bucks a month just for Comcast. Now I have the T-Mobile internet, and it's $50 a month flat. I couldn't be happier. Everything runs. That antenna is a game changer, and uh, I can't wait to hear how this works out for you guys. So that's the waveform. It's a Memo Quad Pro 4. Oh, worth every penny, let me tell you. Uh, it does take a little bit of time to tune it in, so be patient with that. But once you get it set and you lock it down and it's tight, you'll be happy with this. Hey, thanks for watching and hopefully you found this video useful. Please consider giving us a like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Have a good one.